Hello, everybody. It is Monday, June something. We got another train song for you today. Um, I have known this song for a long time. I feel like I first heard it on um, Doc Watson's recording or maybe Pete Seeger's when I was a kid. It's a song called The Wabash Cannonball, and it's got a long and interesting history. Nobody really knows a lot of the answers to some of the questions about this song, but uh, the biggest question is, was there really a train called the Wabash Cannonball? There was, but it wasn't named the Wabash Cannonball until after the song had been sung and recorded many times. In fact, the Cannonball was named um, by the Wabash Company in honor of the song. So um, it talks about transporting hobos through the hobo jungle and um, it's sort of, we think of it as a hobo song now and that some people think that the Wabash Cannonball was a fictional train and it was the train that took them to the Big Rock Candy Mountain after they died. Kind of so, kind of like the Midnight Special is uh, to jail. The Wabash Cannonball maybe was the hobos. We don't know. It's a fun song to sing. Uh, the most famous version is probably by Roy Acuff in 1936. So you might also be wondering who is Daddy Claxton? Claxton uh, was his middle name and he was named for a relative. So lots of interesting questions still to be answered. Uh, check out, there are lots and lots of great versions of this song, including the Carter family, Johnny Cash, even the Grateful Dead. Uh, fun song about a train, maybe a real train, maybe not a train, maybe a ghost train. We love singing it. We hope you will enjoy singing it with us, the Wabash Cannonball. <laughs> Thank you. 
singing keep dancing send us your requests only got a little bit more than a week left so if there's anything you want to hear let us know we'll see you tomorrow for another song a day